together with uh, John Firth, the CEO and co-founder of uh, Acclimatize. So could you explain to us what you do and uh, why you're here? Um, well, what I do and what my company does is we're a, a risk management consultancy. We, we only focus on climate change and adaptation. Uh, we work with the public and private sector, we work in developing and developed countries. And in the last 10, 11 years now, we've worked in over 60 countries. We've probably nearly done something like 400 individual projects around the world. Um, and our focus is on how do we live with the changing climate. Uh, and helping the, our clients understand what the risks are, but also what the opportunities are as well as that. Okay, and uh, yesterday in the um, uh, plenary session, you uh, stated that language uh, of climate change is a dollar sign. Could you explain this? Uh, yeah, the, it, I mean, it's a bit of a sound bite, but um, what I was trying to do was say we have to stop thinking climate change is an environmental issue. It, it's never been an environmental issue in terms of main cause. It's always been an economic and social issue because it's about burning fossil fuels. And the responses to it, whilst the environment is now biting back and saying, don't like this, the, the actual responses, the way we adapt and manage, is through economic and societal change. And so, at the end of the day, governments and organisations, unfortunately, work to the dollar sign as the biggest metric of all. Now, I, I'm not being... Um, I, I, I'm not being a, an apologist for, some, for the bad practices in the corporate sector. I'm just being very realistic and very pragmatic. But if you want to uh, adapt, if you want to live with this world that is changing around us, no matter what we do on mitigation, the world will keep changing. You just have to be realistic about and work within the systems that exist. Yes. So uh, if there's one message you would give to the viewers, uh, what would it be? Um, I, th I think. I mean, one of the key things we say to organisations is, is um, this climate change and adaptation responses to it. At a government level, for example, they have to be owned by the Ministry of Finance. But this is a key budgetary issue. And, and if you don't have them embedded as a core government policy, as part of financial and fiscal planning, then it's always going to be peripheral. Yes. Uh, within ministries environment and, and now I'm not dismiss, dismissing the environmental um, uh, importance of this they provide the technical expertise and a lot of the evidence but actually decisions are made in ministries of finance and that's where it's got to go and that's why I say we've got to work pragmatically within the systems we have okay, Thank you very much. okay.